Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture. So in today's video, we are gonna go behind the scenes into the layers of my illustrations. And this is a new little series I wanted to do because I don't have time to necessarily make a tutorial for every illustration that I do. But if I have some time and I have some techniques that I wanna show you, after I'm done, I can kind of go into um, the techniques, the tools, the tricks that I used when I was doing them. And it might, you might find it useful. So in today's video, we'll just get started. So on the right here, you see um, some Gucci bags that I did. And I thought, um, I saw this like around the holidays and you know, little party Gucci bags. And of course my eye is always being attracted to the, the shiny, the bling bling. So I was like, those would be fun to illustrate. And I think that I can use my layer styles and stuff. And what I like is to, when I'm doing something like this, is to kind of, you know, I give it a think. And I mean, I, my, my brain instantly starts going and I kind of have a log of all my tools and stuff in my head. And so I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do. And I wanted to do something rough and textural, like a little imperfect. And one thing I love about, I love how it turned out. Um, I love how these turned out. Uh, you can see it's clearly an illustration but if you didn't know better, you didn't know that I was using layer styles and things like this, you might think this took a long time, but really it did not. And one good, you know, I'm always looking for ways to save time. So I use the same little template uh, basic shapes for all of them and then apply different layer styles. And that's a way that you can save time. But also I would use the same techniques, but I wouldn't use I wouldn't just recolor it. I would actually make new brush strokes. Like if you see um, right here around these edges, I used a wet paint mixer brush, but I did not just make one and recolor it. I actually sampled the colors from the images. So there is a, that is a good way, even though I use the same brush strokes, it does not always look the same and it's every time it blends different. So that's really a good thing so that it doesn't look too, um, you know, sterile, vectorish, or not, not that any of my stuff really looks vectorish, but that it doesn't look so sterile and your brain can subtly like pick up on if something is just duplicated and recolored. So for these, I actually use different layer styles on all of them. And so you're, you can see that and you're not like, oh, this is just recolored. Um, so I'm going to just go here to where I originally started off with, and then we're going to have more similarities on the sparkly one, but I'm going to look here at the first one that I did. And there was another one. I, I don't know where the reference photo is of this one, but it's a non sparkly leather bag. And you know, it was probably in here. Hold on. There it is. Okay. So that was the reference for this one. And I didn't want it to be sparkly. And so basically when I, when I drew these, so these bags, I went really easy. So this consists of basically two shapes. You've got the top flap and then you've got the background for the leather one. I wanted to, um, it was a great opportunity for me to use some of my brushwork brushes, which are my foundation brushes and I'll link them down below. <clears throat> and those are good because um, those are my most versatile ones. It's an edited collection of essential brushes where you can really see the strokes. So I really love that. And you can really see the strokes and it's, and it's quite rough and it's obviously an illustration and it doesn't, um, you know, it's not meant to be super accurate representation, but in my opinion, like when I'm doing illustrations, I want it to look like an illustration. And for first of all, I don't have the talent to just make something absolutely representative. And two, I don't even like that. Like I want you to know this is an illustration because if I wanted it to if I wanted to draw something and make it look exactly like the bag, I would take a photo. So honestly, um, that's more my style. And then let's just zoom in here for the G's. Um, and also one thing that I will tell you, I put these bags just to make sure that I got the size, the proportions, right. You know, I use them as a reference behind my thing when I was creating my shapes. And that's like, you know, one of the tricks of the trade. 
and you know don't be shy especially when you're starting out there's no reason why you can't um you know this is a photograph there's no reason why you can't use that as a guide especially when you want it to be um the right proportion so did that and you know put it background layer low opacity and then for the g's these were some of my wet paint mixer brushes my orig original collection or no these were actually from my 24 karat gold collection. So I just drew the G's and the, um, the blending of the mixer brushes gives it a real, you know, 3D effect. And that was so easy. The brush does all the work. And then I used some rougher brushes around here for the edges. Even though these aren't rough, I wanted it to be an illustration. So I used a rougher brush um, for those little top parts. And then let me go ahead and I'll hide that one. Let's start with the gold here. So let's move it into position. I'm gonna move these down here. And I did the same thing with this, but we'll go over the gold because that's a little more exciting. So the same thing. Um, one thing that you, I will point out is that these are very simple shapes. And while this, I think this looks really cool, like, you know, I, I love how this turned out. I think it looks really cool. There was very little um, drawing ability <laughs> involved in this, in this illustration. And, um, and then it was really just clipping layers and layer style. So we will just kind of break it down here and I'll go kind of take things off. So let me, I'm gonna go up here on my top left and I'm gonna auto select layer so I can touch these layer by layer and um, let's just show you kind of how I created this. So I've got like a little shadow layer on the top. What do I got here? This is, and it's all clipped onto this big mask here. So this was using one of my 24 karat gold mixer brushes and yeah, that's it. And I, I think I used one of my I sampled from the palette, from my 24 karat palette. So just one of the wet paint brushes, did it over the edge. Even the edges are rough. You still see that roughness, but I think it's super cool. Love it. Um, let's see what's the next layer. So these are some highlights and I used my, uh, this is actually one of my 24 karat gold brushes. I'm gonna release the clipping mask so we can pop these over. So see, these are brush strokes and there's no layer style attached. These brush strokes are using my mixer brushes and the palettes that came with it. And I simply sampled a lighter color. So that's it. We got the highlights across there. And that just adds those nice little highlights. And then let's see this next one here. So these are, let's release this clipping mask so we can kind of see here. So these are some brush strokes using one of my, these are just using like my brush work brushes, just some rough brush strokes, but they have the Instaglam, one of my Payette collection layer styles. So that's a great one for emulating the sequins on here and that that's, that's a great base, so. Um, that's it. Just, you know, I'm just uh, layering these little things on top. So here, these are, let's release this clipping mask. These are some brush strokes um, from my 24 karat gold collection and they're just cool little brush strokes. And what's amazing is the, you can see how they have that feathered and you've got that texture in it and it's amazing. That is all just done with brushes. So I'm serious, like I'm such an evangelist of Photoshop brushes, but the brushes do all the work and it's amazing and it's technology. And can you imagine if you had to like tap, I, I don't even know how you would paint that, but I can't imagine it. It's too, um, too much. And then what do we got here? So I added a little, this is a multiply layer and just some brush strokes but this was just some shadows. You know, sometimes you have to add some highlights and some shadows. And then the main part of that clipping mask is uh, one of my layer styles from my Instaglam collection, and it's just one of the paper, collect paper layer styles. And that's it. There was like a little bit of a multiply layer and then the drop, drop shadow. 
And then you have the exact same thing underneath. And so that is the same sort of scenario for both of these, except so I use the same process. I had like uh, two of my, my layers, you know, where I made brush strokes were from my 24 karat gold brush collection. Um, no layer styles. And then there was two layer styles out uh, there. So it's just, you know, building that up. So let's, I can go here. This was a brush stroke. And then we've got a little, this was um, the 24 karat gold mixer brushes, except I, a lot of times I sampled directly from these images when I was using mixer brushes. So I hover over here and I pull up that color directly from the thing. So it's sampling from photos and you know, and it makes sure it's exact right color. And then this is like a, a different, uh, this is this layer style is Creators Couture and it's one of my sequins collection. And yeah, so those are the layer styles that I use there. And then on the silver, this one here, that is Instagram Payettes. And then what do I have here? This was actually one of my 24 karat gold brushes, but I have it in silver because the 24 karat gold brushes have all the different metallics. Same thing here. This was the 24 karat gold brush, except I have a cover, color overlay to lighten it, but I sampled the colors like directly from the, the bag. And then this is also Instagram collection. So mainly, let's go back here. I used my brushwork brushes. I used my 24 karat gold brush magic. And then I used Instagram and Creators Couture layer styles to create these cool purses. And I think they turned out really fun. And for this, um, I might make some other illustrations where I do the chains because I have some really cool chain brushes. But for this, you can see I use these really fun like uh, crystallized brushes and I'll link you down below. I did them on a previous YouTube video and let me just find my collection here. These were, um, I, I go in depth on that video, but I'll show you what I did. So using the mixer brush and one of these crystal brushes, I go over here to my, and I make sure that the layer is selected. So I'm gonna get this gold one here. I'm gonna hover over that purse and I'm going to option or alt on a PC. I might have to make it go down a little bit. Let's here, resize it. But I'm pulling up my colors from here and then we'll see if it's uh, how it looks over here. Let me create a new layer. Yeah, that looks cool. So oof, still getting used to this new screen, it's huge. Um, so as you can see, there's so many cool things you do with brushes. This looks like it could have taken so long or been so complicated, but this is just the mixer brush and it just pulls these, it's just repeating the colors that I pulled off of here. So that's how I made those brush strokes like that. And it's really quite cool. And even I did the black one here and I did the same thing. I sampled them directly from the purse. So hover over that purse, option click to kind of load that brush with those colors. And then we'll go over here. And then we've got these cool, very, awesome brush strokes. So I hope you enjoyed a little bit behind the scenes and hopefully you picked up some good tips that can help you in your own illustration work. And if you have any questions, just um, go down below and um, what else? Make sure you subscribe. Um, yeah, just let me know if you have any questions and I will have, um, like one of these purses, I'll have a demo file for my Patreon so that you can kind of, um, have the layered file yourself, a sample layered file. So you can kind of, if you want to play around and see how I built that up or whatever, or look more in detail, that will be on my Patreon. So just let me know if you have any questions and make sure you subscribe.